Hey guys, uh, welcome to Mission Impact Series. If this is your first time catching us, my name is Tracy V. Allen and we have Ty Boone with us. So we host Mission Impact Series. It's a weekly series where we give you um, tips, strategies, and concepts to help to take your organization, whether you have a nonprofit organization or social enterprise or just a regular for-profit business to the next level. It's all applicable, even though we really work with social impact businesses. It is all applicable. All right. So today, this series, the first of the series, is going to be wrapping up your year because it is December, hence why I'm so red, but this is my favorite color too. Um, <laughs> So um, we're going to be talking about a few things in the series, highlighting your impact, identifying areas of improvement, um, setting new goals, and developing a strategy. So each week, one of these will come out. So you have to come back every single week to get the tip or strategy that you need to implement in your business. So make sure you click that like, share, and subscribe button. And don't be selfish. It's given season. Share with a friend. Mm -hmm. Let them come on over here to either my platform, which is um, Change Agents TV, or go on over to Ty's platform, which is, um, oh my gosh, Capacity. Capacity Central, right? Go on over to Capacity Central, click that like button, turn on your notification bells. So you know whenever we have um, new episodes coming up, whether it's Mission Impact or something Ty is doing independent on her own, um, or me doing Monday, um, what do I, what do, I do? Impact Monday, right? We always have something literally five days a week. We have something either on here or on the podcast. Um, I do have a podcast called Change Agents as well. So Change Agents Podcast. And we do have Clubhouse. So come on over to Clubhouse and join us twice a week. Um, we'll put the information below where you can, um, what days of the week and times that we'll be on Clubhouse so that you can come on over to Clubhouse and join us, join the conversation. We like talking to people and hearing what you have to say, ask your questions. We answer your questions. It's just a good time, right? And I'm going to stop talking now mm -hmm. and get into the... Um, yeah, <laughs> into the yeah, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> into the actual program that you came here to hear about. So today we're going to be talking about highlighting your impact. And if you follow us for the last three months, October and November, we have talked extensively about this topic, but we're going to talk about it again today in relation to how it helps you to wrap up your year. So that's what we keep saying. One topic can have various meanings depending on where it falls in the structure of what you're doing. So yes, it is still impact, but how does this impact help you to wrap up your year? That is going to be the difference. So again, my name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of TBA Consulting Group. Um, I help social impact businesses design, build, and fund their social ventures, maximize their revenue, and create impact in their communities. Okay, people. I am Ty Boone, owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I help nonprofit organizations move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success and success success is measured by impact ah this is so cool right success is measured by impact um yes. so I'm, I'm loving this topic how about your impact we're at the end of the year this is what this is this is your time to show what you want right <laughs> your time to show, like um was it bernie mac that says um who you with it, sh it shows who you with it shows all this stuff um that you can show at the end of the year um impact is the work that you have done throughout the year the difference, and I'm, I'm, I still love how the Change Agents TV shows up on my shirt every time. <laughs> the change that you make um, uh -huh. with, with those that you serve throughout the year is measured by impact. So what's, what magnitude of service are you providing? And how is this transforming the lives of those that you are working with, their conditions, their circumstances, their situations? How have they changed? If what you are doing is not changing someone's situation, their environment, their behavior, then you're not making a difference because you, you mm -hmm. can't. There's nothing. There's nothing that's gonna 
change. Everything's going to stay the same. And if you're not changing it, it's not impacting. And Tracy, we say impact is the new black, right? Impact yeah. is the new black. Mission impact is impact mm-hmm. is the new black. And, and funders are looking for, supporters are looking for you um, to make a change. And if they're going to help you to be black, stay in the black, that's where the money is. Like in the black. Mm-hmm. Tracy got red because she likes red and it's Christmas. But, <laughs> but if you want to be in the black financially, you're mm-hmm. going to have to be able to communicate and show that what you're doing is uh, bringing forth a change and that it results in impact. Right. And that's through your impact. Right. So when we talk about highlighting your impact, this is a time for you to showcase what you've done all year, because that is what we live for. Everybody lives for the win. Right. Everybody wants that award at the end of the year. And your award at the end of the year is to showcase the impact, the lives that you have changed within your community. And one of the things I didn't directly put it here because we can talk about it when we talk about highlighting your impact is that end of year report. That is where you're going to highlight your impact. And I know Ty likes pretty graphics, right? She likes visually appealing um, end of year reports. And so do I, right? So this is where you're going to show your numbers and you're going to have all those, you know, characters and, you know, charts and your graphs and your, you know, just nice and colorful so that anybody looking at it can see right away what impact you make. They don't have to read through a 20-page dissertation to get what you're trying to say. One or two pages of just really good graphics that highlight we went we had a 20% increase in the amount of people we served this year. We've taken um, 20 or 40 people off the street more than we did last year. Impact is shown like that. So you always have to create. If this is not your first year in business, you're going to um, highlight your impact against your impact from last year. Because to be in business and to show that growth, you have to show how you're growing each and every year. Mm-hmm. So when you're wanting to highlight your impact, it is to show that you are in the winning seat of whatever cause you're championing. You're actually helping people. The monies that people are donating to your organization, the monies that you're making, because some of, if you're a social entrepreneur, that means you have a business that you're making actual funds in and you're taking some of that money and you're putting to a nonprofit organization or you're putting to a program that you're supplementing within your own social enterprise, right? So however you're doing it, Um, You want to show that if I say I'm going to take 10% of all the revenues that come into my organization, my business, and I'm going to use it for something, you want to show how that was used, who it was used for, and how they were impacted by the program, because usually that's what it is, the program that you were um, officiating over, right? So highlighting your impact can actually... Again, <laughs> your no like and trust factor. It can solidify that no like and trust factor with the people in the um, community, the people in your network who, whose eyes are on you to see what it is that you're doing and to make sure that you're not a fraud. Because mm-hmm. we know a lot of fraud happens in the social impact industry, a lot. And I mean, we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to highlight it, but it is a fact. And this is why it's so important to be transparent when you're working in this industry and highlight those impacts that will show that you are trustworthy you want people to trust you you want people to work with you you want people to um donate to you or contribute to your organization you have got to highlight those impact that impact in your yearly report and and since it's christmas time i want to encourage the younger the smaller newer organizations to, to you can show that you have your that your impact is in progress Right. Yeah. You can show this, but whatever you're doing right now, and Tracy said, well, you can you can compare your last year's impact to this year's impact. If you have, let's say you haven't done this a year, you've done something. Mm-hmm. All right. You want last month we did this. This month we're doing that. Last quarter we quarter, made it right. <laughs> Next, this quarter we whatever right. Or this we, year, if you've been in operation all year, this is what mm-hmm. we've done this year. Mm-hmm. If you're able to communicate to your supporters that we're doing something. We just didn't get our business um, license or get our 501c3 approved and just sat here. We're doing something. This is what we're, and, and sometimes giving comes, 
it's all about whether or not your audience believes that you are doing the thing that you said you were doing. We can say anything, right? You can say, oh yeah, I serve 10,000 homeless people, but until I see this pretty graph, at, you know, I ain't going to go out there and look at the 10,000 people, but at least if you got it on a chart, I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. well, you know, they made the chart up, but at least there's something right here to show me that this is this is happening. This is the kind right. of service is being done, right? And like Tracy said, we, we don't like to read a whole lot of stuff, y'all. We just don't. <laughs> it's like, get something pretty. Go. Let me plug it out for me. By Christmas, okay, <laughs> that's going to be my Christmas present. Um, let me plug it out. You got tables, pretty, uh, you know, presentations. You can do them all in there where you can show what you've been doing. Um, and something like, even if you did, even if you did something as simple as a PowerPoint presentation, um, mm -hmm. to have it so that you can show potential um, sponsors or people who are interested in your organization. Hey, this is what this is what we've captured this year. Mm -hmm. This is what our service and our impact looks like. You never know when you're going to be called to the spot. To say, right. okay, spot. You never. And these are the opportunities that you want to have. You want to be ready. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be spending time getting ready, trying to figure out, oh, where I get my data from, how I do this, because you've already been tracking it. You already know, and as it relates to impact, you want to know. You want to know ahead of time what impact you're going for. Impact should not be accidental, right? For your organization, mm -hmm. you should know what's my aim. What are we trying to accomplish with this work that we're doing? If we're saying that we want to, um, you know, decrease uh, homelessness in our area, I should know that we are doing that that we are mm -hmm. on the way to doing that because I looked last year and it was this many people. I looked this year in the in the population that we serve because we can't get everybody, right? But we want to know that we're making some type of noticeable dent in the problem that we're solving. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And when we talk about impact, I mean, a lot of times we try to equate it to people who are going to be giving us money. But let's think about it in a different way. Your impact also shows the people who are going to be or need to utilize your services that you are legitimate, mm -hmm. right? Whether you're dealing with an um, underserved population or you're dealing with someone who needs your services, that impact report helps them to make a decision as to whether or not they want to work with you or they want to try going somewhere else. So impact can roll both ways. It's not just about the person donating or contributing to your um, to your business or your nonprofit. It also goes for the clients coming in um, that are utilizing your services, whether free of charge or through um, paid services. So that impact report is going to be essential for building that no like and trust factor and testimonials and case studies you know yes this is this is why you see that a lot in in mm -hmm. for-profit businesses and now even in nonprofit business where people are like this organization saved my life like i was doing this i was yes. in a whole mess and then i ran across tracy and now mm -hmm. i'm good right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. get your 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 audience to see hey what they're doing works you know i i like you know I, it was a couple of days ago i can't remember who i was listening to some business coach and she she put out a disclaimer about results right and which i think we should all do and she's like these are not typical results right and i'm thinking to myself okay she's trying to sell her package but she says these are not typical results and she kept going like why are these not typical results and uh -huh. she's because the people who who were funded up to this amount or who were able to get this level of success in their business they are not the typical people they're going to do a lot of work, right? They're, the work that these I- These are the overachievers. Right. These are the overachievers. <laughs> you probably heard the same video. Um, yeah. These are the people who are going to do the work, right? Mm -hmm. And then we got people who are not going to do the work. Mm -hmm. But and, expect results. And, res and expect results. And if mm -hmm. you're on our end or your end, if you're running the business or you're over the organization, you're looking at your impact numbers and you're feeling some kind of way. You're like, oh, oh, because you know, I reached 500 people, but only 10 people actually got what it is I said they were gonna get. You have to mm -hmm. consider what, why was that an issue? Which is why evaluation is so important, and mm -hmm. why evaluation is a part of your impact process. Yes, you can know whether or not. Well, 
were these people are these the people are these the, in um are these people who are supposed to be in this thing because if mm -hmm. i'm targeting overachievers i'm going to assume that my impact is going to be greater because more of them are going to do this work mm -hmm. if i'm just looking for anybody to be in my thing and tracy you talked about it with intake and the kind of information you uh you you receive and who's do you qualify what's your income level mm -hmm. you already know certain things about certain populations right are you an entrepreneur are you a self-starter are these questions that you're asking right right if the questions go south and they're not responding the way that are favorable to your impact then you know that this may not be a person who should be a member of your audience because they're going to damage the impact that you're trying to produce mm -hmm. absolutely so to just kind of wrap it up, you know, impact, highlighting that impact, um, not just for um, getting monies, but for social proof, for that no like and trust factor, um, for building a rapport and showing your even your unique um, differentiator, what makes you better or different than the other person is a is, is going to be just that's going to what is going to set you apart from everyone else so get those impact reports together make them look beautiful hire somebody if you're not a graphic designer yourself and you can't do it yourself whatever it is that you need to do go get job forms job forms you need to um sponsor um so <laughs> yeah so um but get those impact reports together all right um, next time we're going to be talking about identifying areas of improvement. So make sure you come back next week for that session.